Welcome to Chills and Thrills. Today I'm going to try to break down the basic tools that are useful when writing a Howard Phillips Lovecraft style tale. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss our chilling and thrilling writing tips. My dearest friend, greetings. I hope this letter finds you in good health and high spirits. Today I'm compelled to share with you a thrilling endeavor I have recently embarked upon. I have decided to delve into the dark, mysterious world of H.P. Lovecraft, attempting to cover the topic of writing a Lovecraftian-style story. As I progress in this fascinating journey, I shall keep you informed of my discoveries, hoping that you too may find inspiration in the unsettling depths of cosmic horror. Yours sincerely, chills and thrills. My dearest friend, thank you for your thoughtful letter. It sounds like you're embarking on an exciting and creatively challenging journey. As you explore the realm of H.P. Lovecraft and cosmic horror, I encourage you to immerse yourself in his works, paying close attention to the unique atmosphere, themes and language he employs. Lovecraft's tales are characterized by a sense of impending doom, a fear of the unknown, and the insignificance of humanity in the face of vast, unknowable forces. Should you need any assistance or advice on this venture, please do not hesitate to reach out. I am here to help. Yours in the pursuit of the uncanny Dagonet. This is what the beginning of a letter about my efforts to make a video on the topic. How to write a Lovecraftian story. After all, epistolary techniques and diary entries are an integral part of Howard Lovecraft's style. But I don't think that's enough for at least a roughly average understanding of that style. H.P. Lovecraft, who was he? He was an American writer who lived from 1890 to 1937, best known for his contributions to the horror genre, particularly with his creation of what is now known as Lovecraftian horror or cosmic horror. The peculiarities of Lovecraftian horror lie in the themes of cosmicism and the insignificance of humanity, the fear of the unknown and unknowable, ancient malevolent beings from beyond, madness, and a focus on atmospheric and dense prose. The purpose of the video is to help viewers write their own Lovecraftian story, providing them with the tools and understanding necessary to successfully craft a story that embodies the spirit of H.P. Lovecraft's work. My dear friend, I hope this letter finds you well. As of late, I have been utterly consumed by the desire to comprehend the basic elements of Lovecraftian horror. This literary journey led me down winding paths of ancient volumes and quiet whispers as I tried to unravel the complex tapestry of cosmic horror woven by H.P. Lovecraft. His tales of unfathomable beings and the insignificance of humankind in the grand scheme of the cosmos have both enthralled and disturbed me. As I continue to explore the depths of his work, I hope to uncover the secrets that make his brand of horror so uniquely terrifying. Yours with trepidation, chills and thrills. My dear friend, your letter has filled my heart with an unsettling glee, as I see you've been entranced by the twisted allure of Lovecraftian horror. To further guide you in your descent, allow me to share my thoughts on the sinister elements that form the very essence of this genre. A. Cosmic horror and the nothingness of humanity. The cosmic horror that pervades Lovecraft's tales serves to remind us of our fragile existence lost within a vast, indifferent universe. We are but specks of dust and the cosmic entities that roam the void dwarf us in both power and understanding. B. Fear of the unknown and unknowable. The shroud of mystery that envelops Lovecraft's work is a testament to the fear of the unknown. It's the darkness that creeps at the edge of our vision, the inexplicable dread that leaves us trembling in the face of what we cannot comprehend. C ancient malevolent beings from the netherworld, the eldritch horrors that lurk in Lovecraft's universe, whether they are great old ones or outer gods, embody a malevolence that transcends time and space. Their very existence challenges our notions of reality and threatens to tear our world asunder. D. Insanity and the fragility of the human mind. The frayed minds of Lovecraft's characters reveal the tenuous grip we have on sanity as the human psyche crumbles under the weight of cosmic truths too terrible to bear. E. Atmospheric and dense prose. Lovecraft's writing style weaves a tapestry of dread, its intricate prose painting chilling scenes that seep into the reader's mind, leaving them haunted by eerie imagery and unsettling concepts. His atmospheric storytelling transports us into a world where the boundaries between reality and nightmarish phantasms are hopelessly blurred. My dearest friend, 
as you venture further into the dark recesses of Lovecraftian horror. I hope these sinister facets guide you like dim, flickering candles in the shadowy abyss. May you find both terror and inspiration in the fathomless depths, and know that I stand with you, eager to share in your discoveries and revel in the macabre. Yours in the embrace of the abyss, Dagonet. And so on. But Lovecraftian style is not exhausted by the basic elements. To create a compelling setting when writing a Howard Lovecraft-style story, consider the following. A. Using New England as a backdrop. Lovecraft was born and raised in Rhode Island, and his intimate knowledge of the region lent his works an authentic atmosphere. New England's rich history, gothic architecture and eerie landscapes make it an ideal setting for cosmic horror. The region's colonial past, puritanical beliefs and association with witch trials and supernatural folklore further enhance the unsettling ambience. B. Include isolated, crumbling places. Lovecraft frequently employed settings that evoked a sense of decay and abandonment. By doing so, he heightened the sense of dread and vulnerability experienced by his characters and readers alike. C. Emphasize the passage of time and the gravity of history. In Lovecraft's stories, the weight of the past looms heavily over the present. By connecting the narrative to ancient events, rituals and forgotten knowledge, he underscored the insignificance of human endeavors in the face of cosmic forces. New England, with its six states, Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island and Vermont, provided ample locations for Lovecraft's tales. Some of the most prominent fictional towns in his works include Arkham, Dunwich, Innsmouth and Kingsport. Though Lovecraft predominantly used New England as the setting for his stories, The Call of Cthulhu takes place partly in Louisiana. In this story, the swamps of Louisiana serve as a disturbing backdrop evoking a sense of isolation and otherworldly menace that complements the tale's themes of ancient evil and cosmic horror. But what about the characters? What should they be like? What motivates them? What difficulties do they face as the story progresses? Characters are a crucial part of any story, and when it comes to writing a Howard Lovecraft-style story, you need to create memorable characters that reflect the themes and atmosphere of Lovecraft's works. Here are three key aspects to consider when developing characters for your own Lovecraftian tale. A. Protagonists driven by curiosity or obsession. Many of Lovecraft's protagonists are driven by an insatiable curiosity or an all-consuming obsession. For example, in The Call of Cthulhu, Francis Wayland Thurston seeks to unravel the mystery of the ancient cosmic entity Cthulhu, despite the danger it poses to his sanity. Similarly, in The Whisperer in Darkness, Albert Wilmarth's curiosity about the legends of the Mego creatures leads him to uncovering a terrifying truth. When crafting your own Lovecraftian protagonists, consider giving them a strong motivation that compels them to push the boundaries of human knowledge or experience. This drive should be powerful enough to propel them into the dark and unknown, no matter the cost. B. Characters facing insurmountable odds. Lovecraft's characters often find themselves facing seemingly insurmountable odds, usually in the form of cosmic horrors or ancient unfathomable forces. In The Shadow Over Innsmouth, for instance, Robert Olmsted stumbles upon the decaying, isolated town of Innsmouth, where he uncovers a horrifying secret about the town's inhabitants and their connection to a race of aquatic beings. To create memorable characters in your Lovecraftian story, place them in situations where they must confront forces beyond their understanding or control. This could include ancient malevolent entities, cults worshipping unspeakable gods or even the crushing weight of cosmic insignificance. By pitting your characters against such overwhelming odds, you can emphasise the themes of helplessness and despair often found in Lovecraft's works. C. Unreliable narrators. Another common element in Lovecraft's stories is the use of unreliable narrators. Characters such as the protagonist in The Rats in the Walls or the artist in Pickman's model begin their tales as seemingly rational and trustworthy. But as the story unfolds, their sanity and reliability come into question. Incorporating an unreliable narrator in your Lovecraftian story can create a sense of ambiguity and unease, leaving readers unsure of what is real and what is a product of the narrator's fractured mind. This storytelling device can also be used to explore themes of madness and the limits of human comprehension. I have looked upon all that the universe has to hold of horror, 
and even the skies of spring and the flowers of summer must ever afterward be poison to me. H.P. Lovecraft, The Call of Cthulhu, 1926. Thanks for joining our Lovecraftian journey on Chills and Thrills. We've covered the basics in part one, so please like and subscribe for more eerie content. Stay tuned for our next instalment. Until next time, keep exploring the unknown.